The song has a chorus. It is a, a, a little advice to young ladies, that's all. Ahem, ahem. Right, now pull your finger out, Brilla, because uh, someone is watching. <laughs> now listen, all you maidens about to choose a man. Don't get one who is ancient, grab a young one if you can. For an old man he is old, and an old man he is grey. While a young man's heart is full of love, get away, old man, get away. Now that is the chorus. Have you grasped it quite firmly, madam? Second spasm. Oh, never marry an old man. Well, listen to what I say. You're sure to meet a young one who will steal your heart away. For an old man he is old, and an old man he is grey. While a young man's heart is full of love, get away, old man, get away. I'd sooner marry a young man with a red and rosy cheek than to marry a man with a cane in his hand whose back is very weak. For an old man he is old, and an old man he is grey. While a young man's heart is full of love, I'd sooner marry a young man with an apple in his hand than to marry an old man with a hundred acres of land. I'd sooner marry a young man with pockets lined with silk than to marry an old man with a hundred cows to milk for an old man. Yes, yes, hello. While a young man's heart is full of love, get away, old man, get away. Never marry an old man with good teeth in his head. He puts them into water before you go to bed for an old man. Teeth, teeth. While a young man's heart is full of love, get away, old man, get away. Never marry an old man, I'll tell you the reason why. His lips is all tobacco juice and his chin is never dry. For an old man he is old, and an old man he is grey. Why, the young man's heart is full of love. Get away, old man, get away. Get away, get away, get away. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Get away, old man, get away. That's good. Yeah, good sound, good sound. We're in the dark. Now, after that load of gold... I stood neath your window this morning at three. Pray tell me what was it you emptied on me? For my next song. <laughs> no, in fact, he's, uh, he's plucking well tonight, I think, is Brill. He's an urban gorilla, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen one before, but he's an urban gorilla. He lives in the tree in Hyde Park and uh, comes down at the weekend. And in fact, uh, he's... Uh, He's at the Royal College of Music, a very clever fellow. He's not as daft as he looks. In fact, this is the only man I've ever met who never has to buy a pillow. He saves a lot of money. And uh, you may think it's ridiculous. He used to be the teacher's pet. She kept him in a cage behind the blackboard. <laughs> All right. Song full of social significance. There was a fair young man who left his country home and went to the city for to seek employment. He promised his dear mother that he would lead a simple life and always shun the fatal curse of drink, the curse of drink. Lift up your heart. He went into North Harrow and found employment in a quarry where he made the acquaintance of some college men. He little knew that they were demons, for they wore the best of clothes. But clothes do not always make the gentleman the gentleman. One night when he went out with his newfound friends to dine, they tried to persuade him to take a drink. 
He refused and he refused, but eventually they tempted him. Till finally he drank a glass of ale. A glass of ale. When he saw what he had done, he dashed the liquor to the floor and staggered out of the door with delirium tremens. Whilst in the grip of liquor, he met a Salvation Army lassie, and cruelly he burst her tambourine, her tambourine. All she said was, heaven bless you, and made a mark upon his brow. With a kick what she had learned before she was saved. So kind friends, take my advice and shun the fatal curse of drink. And don't go around bursting ladies' tambourines. <laughs> the phantom flasher of Pinner Churchyard. <laughs> Strikes again. He crept into the crypt. All right. I was sitting one night by the Jerry O'Meara, warming my plates of meat, when I heard a rat tat at the Rory O'Moore that fair made my raspberry tart. Beat. Tra la la, la la la, tra la la. So I put down the tankard of foaming pig's ear that I held in my German band and silently crept down the apples and pears. My dukes all ready to land. La la la, la la la, la la la. There on her tod slone stood a smashing young dame, her bonnet fair blowing in the breeze. Not one dicky bird from her north and south came, but her mince pies weren't half saying please. <laughs> so I put on my tipper and weasel and stoats and adjusted my silk peckham rye. A quick ball of chalk down the old frog and toad. Do the rubber dub when she and I. La 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 We drank at the Jolly Jack Tar for a while. Then I said, how about Uncle Ned? She flashed me her white Hampstead Heaths in a smile. And not bloody likely she's in. <laughs> and a song. That's a good one, isn't it? You like that, don't you? Nowadays we often gaze on women over 50 without the slightest trace of wrinkles on their face. Doctors go and take their dough to make them young and nifty. But doctors, I defy to tell me just why. No matter how young a prune may be, it's always full of wrinkles. We may get them on our face. Prunes get them every place. Nothing seems to worry them. Their life's an open book. But no matter how young a prune may be, it has a worried look. No matter how young a prune may be, it's always full of wrinkles. Beauty treatments always fail, they've tried them all to no avail. Other fruits are envious, because they know real well, that no matter how young a prune may be, hot water makes them swell. They don't write songs like that anymore. Nowadays, in every way, the world is getting better. We've even learned to fly. Days go passing by. But what about the poor old prune? His life is getting wetter. No wonder he can't grin. The awful stew he's in. Didn't I tell you that? No. 
matter how young a prune they be, it's always full of wrinkles. We may get them here and there, prunes get them. A baby frets until it hears its mother's lullaby. But no matter how young a prune may be, you'll never hear it cry. No matter how young a prune may be, it's always full of wrinkles. Old maids get them on their face, prunes get them every place. Peaches and bananas have that skin you love to touch. But no matter how young a prune may be, it don't amount to much. No matter how young a prune may be, it's always full of wrinkles. Baby prunes look like their dad, but not wrinkled quite as bad. Prunes act very kind, they say, when sickly people moan. But no matter how young a prune may be, it has a heart of stone. <laughs> Straight through there, on the left, that's it. You'll be able to hear us. We can hear you. So, uh, yes, we'll do this one. This was composed by Percy French, this song, who was a well-known Irish uh, composer of the day, Abdullah Bulbul and Mir. Now, this is a chap who was a uh, very celebrated, uh, wily oriental gentleman who was working in a military capacity for the Shah of Persia. And he became involved in a very serious fracas, which can be very painful, uh, with an actual hairy, sweaty Russian by the name of Ivan Skavinsky Skavar, who was working for the Tsar of Russia. And thereby, as Percy French would say, hangs my tail. <laughs> Oh, the sons of the prophets were brave men and bold And quite unaccustomed to fear And the bravest by far in the ranks of the Shah Was Abdullah Bulbul the Beer If you wanted a man to encourage the van Or harass the foe from the rear That would be very painful too Storm, fort or redoubt You had only to shout for Abdullah Bulbul the Beer now heroes were plenty and well known to fame In the troops that were led by the Tsar And the greatest of these was a man by the name Of Ivan Skavinsky Skavar He could imitate Derek Grimstone, play poker or pool Or strum on the Spanish guitar In fact, quite the cream of the Muscovite team Was Ivan Skavinsky Skavar one day this bold Russian had shouldered his gun and donned his most truculent sneer. Downtown he did go, where he trod on the toe of Abdul Bulbul the beer. Young man, quoth Abdul, has life grown so dull that you wish to end your career? Vile infidel, no, you have trod on the toe of Abdul Bulbul the beer. Says Ivan, my friend, your remarks in the end will avail you but little, I fear. For you ne'er will survive to repeat them alive, Mr. Abdul Bulbul Amir. Well then, take your last look at sunshine and brook and send your regrets to the Tsar. For by this I imply you are going to die, Count Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. Then this bold Mameluk drew his trusty skibook with a cry of Allah Akbar. And with murderous intent, he ferociously went for Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. They fought all that night neath the pale yellow moon, the din it was heard from afar. And huge multitudes came, so great was the fame of Abdul and Ivan Skavar. As Abdul's long night was extracting the life. In fact, he was shouting huzzah, ah! when he felt himself struck by that wily cow muck, Ivan Skavinsky Skavar.
The Sultan rode by in his red crested fly, expecting the victor to cheer. But he only drew nigh just to hear the last sigh of Abdul Abubal Amir. Tsar Petrovich, too, in his spectacles blue, rode up in his gold plated car. He arrived just in time to exchange a last line with Ivan Skavinsky's command. A tomb rises up where the blue Danube rolls, engraved there in characters clear. Oh, stranger, when passing, please pray for the soul of Abdul Bulbul A Muscovite maiden her lone vigil keeps neath the light of the pale polar star. And the name that she murmurs so oft as she weeps is Ivan Skavinsky's cabal. Now this uh, song is so full of pathos that we're going to pitch it in, uh, in uh, or hurl it into D minor, which is uh, a very, very pathostical key indeed. <laughs> A little man walked up and down to find an eating place in town. He looked the menu through and through to see what 15 cents could do. One meatball. One meatball. He could afford but one. He told a waiter near at hand The simple dinner he had planned He heard the waiter loudly call Hey, this here gent wants one meatball One meatball felt ill at ease. He said, some bread, sir, if you please. The waiter's voice roared down the hall. You get no bread with one meatball. One meatball. One meatball. You get no bread with one Little man felt very bad, but one meatball was all he had. Now in his dreams he hears that call. Get no bread with one me. Extend yourself now. Express yourself, not expose, not express yourself, <laughs> yourself thoroughly. 
He's a student at the Royal College of Music, is Brill. Now, I thought things were getting rough when I was a student, but I think the foundations of the English educational system have finally cracked and crumbled. I think this is it. We've seen uh, we'll be reverting. We'll do this 12-bar blues, which is a traditional sort of thing, as everyone knows, but I've brought it up to date in this case, and this is now um, a five-new-bar blues. <laughs> but, of course, it's the same thing it did. <laughs> <laughs> coming hoist your window high if you see me coming hoist your window high and if you see me going hang your head and cry hello baby I have to call you on the phone Hello, babe, I had to call you on the phone. Cause I feel so lonesome, Daddy wants his baby home. It's a downright rotten, low down dirty shame. It's a downright rotten, low down dirty shame. Oh, the way you're treating poor me, I know I'm not to blame. Cause you stay out all day, babe, and you never come home at night. Stay out all day, and you never come home at night. I may look stupid, but I do no wrong from right.
till the well runs dry. Oh, you never miss the water till the well runs dry. You never miss your baby till she says goodbye. Study hard, then we might play like him someday. Who is it can play in any style or any key? It me, it me, it me. Who's so young and virile? <laughs> That's a 
girls form up in fours. Who draws such an audience? They have to close the doors. Who is it can do the things that nobody else can? Who is it so wonderful? He rivals Superman. Well, who's the biggest liar you could ever hope to see? Eat me, eat me, eat me. This song is nearly finished, but one more thing I must say. Who is it listens to this junk? Some even have to pay. <laughs> who would be so stupid? Look at who I'm pointing to. <laughs> it you, it you, it you. <laughs> Joke. Right. All right. Well, we'd like to say it. Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you all very much indeed.